Hi, meteorologist John Dawson. This is the Fox 26 YouTube tropical update, making sure you know everything going on out there in the tropics. We don't always have as much time in the newscast to sort of dive into things, so we get to sort of slow down just a little bit and talk about what's happening in the tropics. And one thing that's happening in the tropics that's also impacting us here in southeast Texas is that Saharan dust. Uh, for sure, you might have noticed uh, all of the uh, haziness that's around the city of Houston and that's all having to do with that dust. And there's another batch of it right now that's draped across the Caribbean, even a little bit more out in the Atlantic. But what we're really focused on is this in the Caribbean because it's going to do two things. First of all, remember, it makes things a little bit harder to develop, but it's coming to southeast Texas again. So we're going to continue to see a little bit of that dust, but then another surge of it will arrive here to southeast Texas on Thursday, yeah, give or take a little bit as far as that arrival time. So that'll be more hazy conditions. Just overall, our air quality is going to sort of de decrease a little bit once that sort of blast of that dust arrives. And so, yes, it kind of prevents, it kind of makes it more difficult for that tropical cyclones to form. Well, it's not going to keep them from forming for sure, but definitely it just makes it more difficult. And yes, once it gets here to us, it kind of makes our eyes itchy. And then again, for those people with some, some uh, irritants to the lungs, it can definitely be uh, a problem for certain and sensitive groups and overall those hazy sunrises and sunsets really can be beautiful uh, overall. So when we look at the bigger picture of what's happening out there right now, uh, things are definitely quiet in the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, and then when we look out to the Pacific side of things, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on this today, but there are a couple areas that the National Hurricane Center are watching in the Eastern Pacific, uh, specifically all this uh, stormy activity out here. They're giving that a 90% chance over the the next two days that it would develop into a tropical system. So probably going to see uh, a tropical storm out, at least a tropical storm out in the Pacific side of things. Switching over to kind of in the Atlantic as well as what's happening with us. This high pressure uh, ridge in the upper levels of the atmosphere is really what's been dominating our weather here locally in Houston, but also it kind of helps control what's happening in the Gulf of Mexico as well. It's really kind of spreading itself out at the moment. This is going to be something that's also kind of keeping any sort of tropical activity down to the south. So when we take a look at what the Hurricane Center is watching in the Atlantic right now, there is an area in the far western Caribbean that is now up to a 40% chance that it would develop over the next five days. So in that one to two day range, it's pretty low, only about a 10% chance that it could develop. So this is looking further down the line, that three to five day range. We are looking at the possibilities, the Hurricane Center again, giving it that medium or the 40% chance that it would develop a tropical. And at the moment, as we've talked about with that high pressure that's really been in control, that's somewhat sort of protecting us as long as that kind of stays in place a little bit. I don't think that this would want to really want into the Gulf very much. It would stay in the southern portions of the Gulf or in the Caribbean itself. And just a quick reminder, we have had one named storm already. That was Alex. So as we're waiting and watching for that next one to form, Bonnie, uh, the second named st uh, system would be uh, that one that would be up next as far as what we're expecting. Don't forget to download the Fox 26 weather app. It's great for all things local, especially it's great for tropical. And I've been reminding everybody as we're thinking about summer travel plans. Uh, the Fox 26 weather app will help you with wherever you might be going. Gives you a 10 day forecast. All you got to do is punch in a zip code or a city and you'll be able to see what's happening there. We'll be back tomorrow with another tropical update here on YouTube.